Nigeria is ready for a marine corps due to its vast maritime resources and increasing threats to maritime security. Chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Navy, Yusuf Gagdi, emphasized the importance of the corps for enhancing maritime prowess, protecting waters and fostering a secure environment for trade and economic growth. Speaker Abbas Tajuddin supported the proposed Nigerian Marine Corps Bill, stating it is a proactive step towards national interest. Establishing the maritime, Nigerian Maritime Corps is not merely a legislative effort, but it should be a strategic initiative based on the idea of the sponsor of the bill to enhance maritime prowess, protect our waters, and foster a skilled environment for trade and economic growth. Given Nigerian vast maritime resources and the increasing threat, again, according to the sponsor of the bill, to maritime security, this bill represents a proactive step towards safeguarding our national interest and ensuring the safety of the coastal and maritime environment. Speaking, Tajuddin Abbas declared the hearing open, stating that the focus on marine intervention is central to the 10th House legislative agenda, especially aimed at economic diversification and agricultural development. Intervention is firmly rooted in the legislative agenda of the 10th House of Representatives, particularly in our goals of economic diversification and agricultural development. Central to these goals is the exploration and sustainable development of the blue economy. This aligns closely with our commitment to addressing climate change and promoting environmental sustainability. Among other efforts, this includes engaging stakeholders to review the national oceans policy which emphasizes the sustainable management and conservation of Nigeria's marine and coastal resources. However, some stakeholders, including civil society organizations, kicked against it for reasons based on duplication as well as national security. This venture, and with due respect, perhaps this adventure, is a recipe for confusion. Most importantly, what threat analysis was carried out, like somebody said? What does this core intend to do differently? And like many others have said, why not strengthen already existing agencies, already existing services to do their work? Nigeria used to be a high-risk area in terms of piracy. But with our efforts, Nigeria was removed from the list of piracy-prone countries as far back as 2022. All of these add up to the commercial and economic prosperity of this country. We're talking of investor confidence, we're talking of insurance premiums and all of that. They all have a direct linkage to the economic prosperity of this country. The enforcement of all relevant federal laws within the maritime zones of Nigeria falls under the jurisdiction of the Nigerian Navy as provided in section one Subsection 4A of the Armed Forces Act 2004. It is therefore curious that the Nigeria Maritime Corps Bill 2024 uh, provides that Marine Corps will enforce or provide assistance in the enforcement of all relevant federal laws within the maritime zones of Nigeria that fall under the jurisdiction of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.